Over 30 million people have an HIV infection, and millions more become infected each year throughout the world. On FightAIDS at Home, an internet distributed computing project, we screen different compounds to try to find new drugs that can uh, help treat these HIV patients. We're particularly interested in these multi-drug resistant mutant superbugs of HIV, and one of the main superbug involves changes in HIV protease, a, a model of it shown here, a 3D printed model. Now HIV protease chops up the viral pieces so that they can fold up and make new viral particles to infect other cells and thus other patients. So on Fight Aids at Home, which is part of IBM's World Community Grid, we screen different compounds to see how well they might bind to this active site where the current drugs bind and thus gum up the works so that hopefully our uh, synthetic chemistry and medicinal chemistry collaborators can then develop these initial candidates into new drugs for the treatment of HIV. So many of our experiments on phytates at home involve finding things against this, this active site region, but we also perform experiments against two novel sites that we help discover with our collaborator uh, Dave Stout, who leads an X-ray crystallography lab at Scripps. And we screen against these allosteric sites shown here and here. And allosteric means you bind here, but you get an action at a distance. So by binding here or up here, you can actually regulate the activity of the central active site region and thus potentially help block the enzyme by new mechanisms that the mutants can't yet counteract. We can also help develop new combinations of different drugs that should make it much harder for these new superbugs to evolve. So this is all done as part of Fight Aids at Home, which is part of IBM's World Community Grid, and I'm Dr. Alex Perryman, a member of Professor Art Olson's lab at the Scripps Research Institute. Thank you for your time.